Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We're talking about um, astrology energy and its influence on us here on Earth. And today I am also going to be doing a tarot card reading. I missed the readings, to be honest with y'all, but there was other reasons I was not doing reason readings. And it just felt good to take a break. Um, psychically, my mind has been with this full moon. Um, my mind, my body, like my whole spirit has been just totally on like a reset. Um, and it feels really good. Um, bringing you a message. If you feel that you are protected or guided by angels, you definitely are. Definitely are. No doubt about it. So yeah, we start off the week with the moon in Capricorn. So we find stability, our sense of stability early this week starts uh, from a place of our ability to get things done, our ability to be useful to others, and the ability to sort of keep things organized in our life, in our minds. Um, sun is conjunct Uranus. You might surprise yourself with how much exactly you're able to get done because this is very helpful energy um, toward that end. Um, an important question here this week um, worth writing down or journaling about if you like. How has your capacity to love yourself affected other areas of your life? Mm -hmm. The eclipse season is not over. This week we are moving into the next cycle of that lunation, which is the last quarter moon. It is the time for when we take what we have learned, what has been revealed through the eclipse portal, and integrate it as best that we can. And so that last quarter moon is in Aquarius. Um, at the same time, Mercury is in a transit with Saturn. This feels like breaking the limits of definition. How do you relate? How do you show up? We are still learning to be comfortable with certain emotions. We're still learning to be comfortable handling certain emotions. It's not all easy, no. What else? What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? I feel like that is a, a classic timeless query. That energy could be entering this week as well. Consider that. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Something needs to change, right? Like the, those conditions are not actually possible. Any science nerds out there want to illuminate the actual answer to that question, let me know. Um, and then finally, we're ending the week with the Pisces moon weekend. At the same time, Venus is in a transit with Saturn. A boost in creativity, but detached emotions. Oh, so this is the crossroads here. How do you react when everything changes? What's your instinct? What's your impulse? What's your, um, well, I guess instinct for survival, right? Are we still in survival mode? Are we learning to see the survival tactics that we are, that we carry and how that's impacting our lives? Um, as well as this weekend, be aware of any conflicts, aggressions, or disappointments. I feel that this may be why, part of the reason why the energy is lending itself to be detached so that we don't get caught up in certain conflicts, aggressions, disappointments. Instead, follow your creativity. Follow mm, the, the fire element. Where in your body do you feel, um, when in your body do you feel lit up? When in your mind do you feel lit up and inspired? Really, it's time to follow that. It's time to follow that because that has a lot to do with your true direction there. Um, this week, I think that the, the most beautiful transit of this week is Venus and the North Node. This is when we find beauty and are attracted to find acceptance in your divine mission and purpose. So it's in there. It'll be here somewhere, probably around 
the thing that ends up surprising you or maybe doesn't surprise you but maybe surprises somebody else and it then it surprises you um, or has something to do with your own your own creativity or how you're applying creativity um, in your life based on any um, revelations of the full moon or for from whatever the case is that about covers the energy for this week i am going to do a tarot uh, spread as well but it'll be a separate video so make sure you check that out thanks so much for joining me and i hope to see you guys on the next video